the best and the final thing that it did for my locks was grow them. Yes, the myths are true. It grows your hair. Hey family, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome queens and kings. I am AJ Locks. Here on this channel, we talk all things lock and lock extension. So if you are into all of that goodness, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It looks just like this. So you do not miss out on any locked content. So today is August 14th and I have been asked to try out rice water. So I'm going to try it out for two months and today is day one. So as I am told, rice water is an age-old protein treatment for the hair. I'm going to go ahead and read you some things that people claim that rice water does. So rice water is supposed to make your hair smoother, increase shine, make hair stronger, and grow hair long. So basically what I did was boil one cup rice, one cup water until the water was cloudy. I put it in a mason jar and I fermented it for 24 hours. After I fermented it, I went ahead and I put it in this spray bottle here and I am going to go ahead and spray my hair with it. Since it is a protein treatment, I do plan on only doing this once a month um too much protein is bad for the hair i read that you are supposed to rinse it out um uh, the recommended amount of time that you're supposed to leave it is 30 minutes to an hour although i have heard of people leaving it overnight i will probably leave it in for somewhere around two hours and then just rinse it out with water so i heard that the smell is kind of sour um so i have some peppermint oil i don't even think it's that much peppermint oil in it so I don't know. Hopefully it is. Oh, I don't. I don't know. It was oils at the bottom, at the bottom of the spray bottle, so it just smells like tea tree to me. So I'm gonna see how much. Oh, I got a little bit some peppermint oil in here because it's possible that the bottle just smells good, but then when I actually put it on my hair, it's gonna gonna be a little funky. And I don't want that. My nose is sensitive to smells. So, some drops of that. And I'm going to shake it up. I'm going to uh, apply this to both my roots and um, the length of my locks. And then I'll probably put a plastic cap on it. Just two. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can see where the sour smell will come from. I smell it once it's on my hand. Hmm. So I saturated it pretty nicely. So I'm going to put on a plastic cap. I'm going to leave it for two hours. And then I'm going to rinse it out. Um, I don't think that I'm going to come back after that. No, just because no, I don't want to. No. That's what I'm saying. I'm not going to come back afterwards. Just because I don't want to give you just like a one time result. I will rather wait until the end of the two months. And then I'll let you know what's going on. I just wanted to show you guys the first look and let you know what I did and what I plan to do. So, um, in the next clip, it will be two months later and I will be giving you guys my results. Oh my gosh, you're so warm. It's, um, it's cold. It's cold? You're cold? Yeah, it's cold. You're hot though. Let's get you some medicine. So, I will see you guys in two months. Real quick, why I'm chilling, y'all. This is week four. This is my fourth application of the rice water. So I have four more weeks to go, which is very exciting. I'm pretty much halfway done. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know where I'm at with it right now. Um, I really didn't expect to see a new change. Like I thought it was just going to be pretty consistent throughout. However, this week I had noticed a lot of itching in my scalp. I also noticed that uh, my locks just feel a little bit more dry and brittle. I know that too much protein in the hair can do that, which is why I have been just pretty much doing it just like once a week. Um, but that might even be too much. I don't know. So 
today and going forward, I plan on just concentrating on my roots and uh, my scalp when I um, do the rice water. And I also plan on, um, you know, just giving my scalp and my roots a little bit more TLC when it comes to oil. Um, so, yeah, this has been sitting for about two and a half hours. So, I am about to rinse and uh, I am going to condition I, I, I honestly think that I might go ahead and shampoo because I don't need I honestly think that I might just go ahead and shampoo because I don't think that I've shampooed since I've done this honestly I just basically like when I put it on I rinse so like I feel like, I kind of feel like I've been shampooing just because my locks have been getting wet every week. But in all actuality, I don't think that I've actually been shampooing. Um, so, yeah, it's probably about that time. So, I'm going to go ahead, rinse, 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 shampoo, and uh, condition, which I normally don't like to condition. But my locks are so brittle, like, it has to be done. And uh, just going forward, I'm not going to put it down the shaft of my locks. Um, anything else that I need to tell y'all? No, nope, that's it for uh, week four. So we are halfway down. So yay. Um, and I will see y'all when I see y'all. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it has been a full eight weeks since I started my rice water challenge. I don't want to call it a challenge. It's not really a challenge. But I am like super geeked, y'all. I'm super geeked. I'm not off of no caffeine. Like nothing super amazing happened today. I'm just really, 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 really excited to give y'all these results. Like this, this is crazy. So I looked into rice water a little bit and overall rice water is a protein treatment. Protein is very, 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 very good for the hair. However, when overused, it can cause the hair to become very dry and brittle and break off that's a little bit of what I was experiencing in the clip before this where I had the plastic cap on um, I wasn't having any breakage but my scalp was like extremely dry um, so because of that knowledge and because I knew that I decided to only use it once a week it is recommended that you use it no more than twice a week in the previous clip I did say that um, I was experiencing some brittleness, some uh, dry scalp, um, and that I was going to start to do it every other week. Um, however, I didn't do that. I did skip one week, um, like the following week after I experienced dryness. Um, but what I did is I just went through and I just really, really thoroughly oiled my scalp. Um, and once I did that, So what I did is I just went through with oil and I really made sure to oil my scalp. And once I did that, the dryness and the itching uh, stopped. So that pretty much just told me that I wasn't oiling my scalp well enough. So after that, I just really started to pay attention to making sure that my scalp as well as the length of my lock was um, hydrated and that seemed to fix the problem. Um, the oil that I use, I just put in this little spray bottle, and this is pretty much just extra virgin olive oil mixed with a little bit of my Heinz Body Works uh, LLC oil. Um, I love this oil. I made a video on it a, a long time ago. The logo has, like, come off. That's, like, how long it lasts me. Like, the logo has come off. Um, but I just mixed it with a little bit of this, and this is a mixture of a, a lot of different oils, but it smells so good. So, so, so so good so I just mix those two um, and I use that on my scalp and then on the length of my locks I use what I normally use which is just a uh, rose water rosemary oil um, black castor oil and tea tree oil so the only con that I really experienced was the dryness um, that was it oh no and I really didn't like the fact that I was wetting my locks every week um I know that is not 
necessarily anything wrong with that we have people that are very active they swim they work out and they shampoo their hair um weekly but i personally don't so i just kind of i don't know i felt kind of uncomfortable um wetting my locks that often i didn't really like doing that um but outside of that everything is good so let's go ahead and get into these pros so for one my hair is noticeably softer um and i didn't really notice it after the first um the first time but i noticed it more so the second time and i was like wow like my locks are noticeably softer and when i first heard about um the softness that it claims to have i was worried because i was like i don't want it to start to detangle my locks or anything like that but no nah, it doesn't do that at all it just makes them a lot softer um, what comes with them being softer is when i do get out of the shower or when i do get done um rinsing my locks i don't have to separate my locks like because they dry soft like they like my roots are just soft so i don't have to go through and separate my locks at all at all they just know what to do know where to go and they're not um trying to marry at the root i also noticed that my roots feel a lot stronger i did say in a previous video that after i semi free formed i interlocked and i thought that that was a bad idea it just left my roots not feeling the best left them feeling kind of a little bit weak um but i feel like this definitely repaired that and my roots they feel they feel so good they feel so strong um i did not notice them getting thicker or anything like that um, my fine hair is still fine but I did just feel the difference between um, when I initially interlocked it and now just in the strength of my hair the best and the final thing that it did for my locks was grow them yes the myths are true it grows your hair so in case you're wondering how it is possible that um rice water grows your hair basically let me read this the amen <clears throat> let me speak clearly um the amino acids present in rice water in particular help the regeneration of hair and aid in faster growth of your hair also rice water contains vitamins b c and e which further help in hair growth Okay, so I had footage of um, me taking a measurement of my longest lock, like before I even started all of this, but it somehow got deleted. Of course, of course it got deleted. Of course it did. If I can remember correctly, I believe the length of my longest lock was six inches, and that's this lock right here. I believe it was six inches um so i'm going to measure that before i measure that i also want to do a side by side of the front of um my locks i did not measure it y'all but i don't the growth is so like i'm not like i'm trying not to cuss like the growth is so freaking significant so i have a picture i'm gonna put right here i'm blonde in this picture um but it was right before i colored my hair black okay so i believe this is the lock that was used look at this look at this so this this lock may be a little bit more stretched out because it is still a little bit damp from uh, me rinsing out the rice water from today but y'all like the the growth is significant like i don't care if it's damp or not do you do you see? I wish I would have measured this. I wish I would have measured this. Um, but I am going to go ahead and measure out my longest lock. Again, I believe that it was six inches. And we're going to see where it is now. Mm, that can't be right. 
Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna measure it one more time. I'm gonna make sure I get it right. Y'all, this is insanity. Can you see that? You can't even hardly see. Here's a seven, and this is where I stopped. So seven and a half freaking, oh my nails. Anyway, seven and a half inches. Seven and a half inches one and a half inches in, I can't even think straight, one and a half inches in eight weeks. I don't know how fast your hair grows on a normal basis, but my hair don't grow that fast on a normal basis, okay? So, what? Seven and a freaking half inches. Wow. I'm not sure what I was expecting to get out of this but that definitely was not it like all of these pros all of these good things I was not expecting this I am over the moon happy over the freaking moon happy in the video that got lost um I did show you like a back view of my hair but again that's not there so I do have a video of my hair uh, I do believe it's right before um, I started using the rice water I believe so if not it's only like a couple weeks in um, it's not the best video because there's like movement and stuff like that so I'm not sure <coughs> I'm sorry I'm getting over a cold I was trying so hard not to cough through this um, but I'm not sure exactly how well you can see the length because I'm like moving and all like trying to give y'all a hair porn shot. But I don't know. Um, but I'm going to show you that and I'm going to turn around so that you can try to get a, a good idea of before and after. I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend that you give rice water a try. Like, for sure. Oh, I do want to point out, too, that these obnoxiously long locks right here, like, I don't even know if y'all even really paid attention to those. But these two obnoxiously long locks um are not man like this little are are not from um the rice water um the right i'm sure the rice water grew them out a little bit um but the natural growth of those are like right here, they grew them out a lot um the natural growth or length is like right here um but what i did probably like a week ago is i attached my daughter's locks to my lock so my daughters had uh, both of them had a two-headed dragon and so I just snipped off one of their ends and I uh, attached them to my hair so uh, these two are extensions by way of my baby's hair I did just want to point that out but yeah I definitely recommend um, that you use rice water um, I just want to say proceed with caution, you know, like it can get, um, really easy to see results and to keep on going and to keep on going and to keep on going. But I don't want your hair to start getting brittle. I don't want it to start, uh, breaking off or falling out. So, um, just monitor it. Um, listen to your hair. If your hair is becoming dry, it's becoming brittle. Um, maybe take a week off, um, make sure that you are 
really really moisturizing your locks um you may even have to condition so just really listen to your hair don't get caught up in the results and ignore your hair speaking to you you know if it's dry or you need to take a break then just go ahead and do that um but i definitely recommend it i do want to stress and reiterate that results will vary it's not even like a may vary they will vary um from person to person from head to head um all of our diets are different all of our hair textures are different just we're different so if you have tried rice water or if you are thinking about trying it um if you know somebody who has tried it go ahead and drop it what were your results what were their results um you know you know i'm nosy i be wanting to know what's going on if you stayed this long stop playing and subscribe like this video and share it because sharing is caring and i will see y'all in the next one until then be bold be empowered be beautiful